So the Hoare-Laval Pact is next, and this is a solution to the Abyssinian crisis, or a proposal for a solution. Um, and it's named after these guys. So we have Samuel Hoare, who was a British foreign minister at the time, and then we have the French prime minister, who's named Pierre Laval. So they come up with uh, a proposal. So these two were actually holding secret meetings without the knowledge of the League of Nations. So all the other member countries have no idea that this is happening. And they come up with a proposal and they want to show it to Mussolini first. So the plan is that they want to give two thirds of Abyssinia to Mussolini. All right, so all that's going to Italy. In return, they don't want them to have a full scale invasion. So that's the plan. However, this plan is then leaked to the French press. So the newspaper. And so the newspapers start carrying this Hor Laval Pact. All the other member states of the League of Nations find out about it. The leader of Abyssinia finds out about it. He says, I demand the League to debate this issue because basically they're giving away his land and they didn't even consult him. So the French citizens and the British citizens are upset with this and they lose faith in their governments. So Sanction talk loses all momentum. The League of Nations are now dealing with this crisis. In the meantime, Italy is launching their invasion. The U.S. increases its exports of, Italy, uh, of oil to Mussolini and Italy. And now Mussolini, because the League of Nations is distracted, they still have trade with the United States, he's able to get both empire and oil. On March 7, 1936, Hitler sees all this happening. He says, now is our chance. Hitler invades the Rhineland, and this goes against the Treaty of Versailles. But again, the League of Nations are dealing with all of these crises, and they're not able to deal with them effectively. France argues that we need Mussolini to help us against Hitler. Let's just give him Abyssinia. So May 9th, Italy annexes the entirety of Abyssinia because the League of Nations are seeing that Germany is a bigger threat than Italy. Haile Selassie, the person ruling Ethiopia, is sent into exile. A little while later, in November 1936, Hitler and Mussolini signed the Rome-Berlin Axis. So now, they are friends. Before they were enemies, and that's important to note. So the Abyssinian crisis was a disaster for the League of Nations. Uh, it shows that they're unable to deal with things effectively, and Hitler and Mussolini just get what they want anyway, and then they join forces.